Hello YouTubers, subscribers and friends, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm just going to walk down this dirt road, walk about 20 minutes and then walk 20 minutes back. It is freezing. The rain clouds are coming in. It rained last night. Apparently I didn't hear it, but when I woke up this morning, everything is wet. Check out these clouds here. This car coming by. Not too far from Hohokam Canyon. Started up my morning. It's nine o'clock this morning. 360 view where I'm at right now. The sun is trying to peek through. Yeah, those people stopped and asked me uh, what was the name of this road. They're looking for birds to videotape from Iowa. I told them they're going to get stuck if they keep going down there, especially since we got rain last night. Look at them soldiers up there on the hill. It is cold, man. I cannot find my beanie. Ah, my ears are frozen. This weather is so weird. Yesterday it started out like, you know, 40 some degrees and then it got up to almost 80 degrees yesterday. It got hot. And today it's freezing and cold and rainy. Well, it's going to rain, my wife said. It's going to rain again. Get on with my walk. And the wind is picking up. Whew. This kind of weather actually brings out the wildlife. It doesn't bring out the snakes or anything, but it brings out the coyotes and deer and stuff. Look at this cactus here. I think these are called hedge hedgehog cactuses. And then I found this little bitty pincushion just hiding right there. I see you pin cushion in the bushes there. They probably loved the rain last night. This dirt road is a freaking is a upgrade. It's going up. Yeah, this older couple turned around and went back. I love the way the, the freaking uh, clouds look. Kind of a gloomy day, but it's also kind of a sunshiny day. With sunshine, in, you know, in the morning you can see over there the sunshine, the blue skies a little bit. But these are slow moving clouds. You can see that over there that's where the Santa Catalina Mountains are that are north of Tucson. You can't even see them at all. My wife was watching the news this morning and she said there's going to be snow up there 4,000 foot elevation above. and the peaks of those mountains up where the ski lodge is is actually 10,000 foot elevation. And it looks cool with the clouds and everything like that. So that's why I came walking over here today because I figured, well, it's, it's going to look cool with the clouds and everything. Believe it or not, I have walked 20 minutes already from my car, which is way down there, to here. So how far you get in 20 minutes. I'm going to continue to walk a little bit further. It uh, seems like for me, oh man, that wind. 20 minutes goes by so fast. So, I'll probably walk another 15 minutes. This friggin' swore out. It's all friggin'. Alright, let me get a different position because that wind's blowing. It just amazes me when I see them so much curves in these because they're such heavy 
cactuses. Oh, that wind has got my face frozen. Just amazes me that they, it can curve this much and not fall over. Right? Because these things weigh tons. Stuff like this just amazes me. And as I was looking at this cactus, I was going up and down just staring at it. I noticed something at the bottom there. I'm like, wait a minute. That is so weird. What the heck is that? And that's a turtle. It's uh, It's dead. But it's a turtle. Right? You can see its feet curved out, stuck out. I don't know what happened to it. Let's pull it out. Let's get a stick and pull it out and take a look at it. Maybe it froze or something. That is the biggest freaking turtle I've ever seen out here in the wild, though. Yeah, it's definitely a turtle. It's been dead a long time. Big gigantic tortoise shell. I've never seen a turtle out in the desert before. You can see way down in there. Well, it was a turtle, but it's just a turtle, tortoise, tortoise shell now. All right. This is a first for me. I've seen a lot of stuff in the desert, but never, never anything like this. I see tortoise in the zoo and stuff. This thing has been dead a long time. Put it back here. I found him. Sorry about that, buddy. Don't know what happened to you. You're a long ways from water, though. All right, that's what I love about going hiking and exploring. You never know what you're going to see or find. Man, look at them freaking clouds. Awesome, man. All right? My ears were freezing, but looking for that looking at that tortoise completely got my mind off of it. Now they're freezing again. All right, let's continue walking. Here's another thing you don't see too often, but I have seen this before. This dual swirls next to each other. Oh man, growing out of one base. The little pink cushion right there. It's the twin swirls. It's not rare, I've seen it before, but it's just. It's amazing every time I do see it though. One base right there. A lot of these hedgehog cactuses everywhere. Whew! Feels like it's getting colder and colder. Another pin cushion right there. I guess today is pin cushion cactus day. Walking and I see these signs in this fence here. And this only can mean one thing that this is an old abandoned mine. It says danger. Can barely read it. Ah, I got my jacket cut on the fence. Yeah, old. This whole area has been mined for silver and copper and gold. I don't know how old this mine shaft is, but it's completely surrounded with the fence. You can barely read the Danger sign here. Extremely hazardous abandoned mine. Stay out. Stay out, stay alive. Oh, sun's coming out. Alright, it's been uh, 15 minutes since the last time I recorded anything. I come up onto this trail. I've actually been to the other end of this trail before. <sighs> I've actually walked from that direction to here. And it picks up over here on the other side. So I've never I've never been on this side of the road of the trail. 
And there's the wash right there. So I think I'm gonna walk down this trail just a little bit. Picture Rocks Wash Trail, 2.1 miles. I'm not gonna walk the whole walk. Like I said, it's been 15 minutes. I walked 45 minutes, but I'm just gonna walk down this trail a little bit because I've never been on it. I just want to see where it goes, what I can see. It's a good thing I do have my bat mask on though. Because uh gonna keep my ears warm and my face warm because the wind is definitely blowing and making it colder. What is going on here? I got a quitter ear. Oh, there's a rabbit right there. The rabbit just ran right in front of me. Took off running. It's a good thing, right? Keep my ears warm because they were freezing. Starting to hear the birds chirping and the animals coming alive. Quitter here. I wonder if this trail is going to go by this gigantic saguaro I'm seeing over there. swirl right there. I'm still thinking about that tur tortoise I found. I wonder what happened to that poor guy. This trail just goes right to that wash right there. I want to go see. Well, you can't see the trees hiding it. There's a big swirl over there. There's just two swirls next to each other. I thought it was one big one. Look at this one though. It's got a little standing on the end right there. I've been walking up this wash for about. 10 minutes. I've been total walking time. I've been out here for 50 minutes. Now I have to walk back. But just want to look at this. That's a big boy right there. And the clouds moving up ahead. Yeah, I think this is going to be my turnaround point and start walking back. I don't really care for walking in washes, especially with jeans on. Clouds look awesome though, man. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but there's birds chirping in the background. I can handle rainy days like this because the sun is out and shining. I can still see blue cl uh, blue skies. I was going to say blue clouds. But, uh, yeah. 55 minutes walk. Now I got to walk back. It's a good walk. I got a good sweat going on right now. I don't, I'm not out here doing these walks to try to lose weight anymore. I'm just out here trying to, uh, you know, keep control of my diabetes, my blood sugar, my metabolism. And uh, I really enjoy these morning walks. And like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, I seek out the truth, Arizona. I do more than just these morning walks. I do afternoon walks. I do evening walks. I saw a nest over here. I was gonna go look at. So it's been about 30 minutes since the last time I recorded. I'm about halfway back to my car, I'm walking at a really fast pace. You can see the clouds are raising up the Santa Catalina Mountains. You can now see when I first started, 
you was unable to see the mountains. There's the foothills of the Santa Catalina Mountains. There's the clouds. That hill right over there. That's actually Hohokam Canyon over in this area right here. And uh, this peak right here, I have climbed to the top of that peak before. And uh, the wind is picking up like crazy. I have not seen any wildlife other than that one bird. Hey, right, 15 minutes have gone by. I'm almost back to my car. I can see it. As I'm looking into the desert, I see something over here. I'm like, what the heck is that? It looks like a spool of wire. So I'm going to go over here and investigate what it is. Cause, uh, can't, yeah, it looks like a spool of barbed wire. Let's see, how can I get around to that? What would that be doing out here? That is strange. I found all kinds of stuff today. Just sitting here. There's not a fence anywhere in this area. Look at that. Just sitting out here in the desert. It's full of barbed wire. What a weird place to put it. Because there's there's no there's no fencing anywhere in this area at all. Just, I barely saw it from the road because it's hidden by these Pella Verde and Saguaro. But it just I thought it was like a cactus at first because I wear glasses. I really can't see really, really far. But it's, this is weird, man. Let me, let's go walk over here and see if there's anything like a mine shaft or something. I mean, what is the reason to have a spool of bob wire in the freaking desert? I can understand if there was a fence up in this area. Huh. Oh, that wind is so cold. Nothing. I'm not seeing a fence anywhere. I don't see a mine shaft anywhere. Completely weird. See, like, I can barely see it from here. I can see an outline. It's hidden pretty good. Makes no sense, though. There's my car, right? So it's not too far from the road. There's a swirl cactus there. There's a little pull out driveway here. And it's right over there. In case you park rangers are watching my video, you guys can come and clean up the, the desert, right? Take that out of the desert, the trash. I mean, you still can't even see it, even though I know it's there. It's hidden really good. Now, there it is. All right? So, park rangers know where it is. You want to come pick it up, take it out of the desert. Doesn't make any sense why it's there. Alright, I'm almost back to my car and my battery is almost dead, so playing this walk pretty good. Alright, I'm back in my car. I started at 9 o'clock. It is 10.30. I walked really, really fast coming back to my car. I haven't been on this trail in such a long time, man. I, I, I would guess maybe six months ago. Last time I was walking on this trail, I ended up way over there, and I was wearing the bat mask, and I was doing a vlog, and this guy was coming this way, and he saw me vlogging, wearing the Batman mask, and I stopped and talked to him. And he, the whole time I had the mask on and everything, he never once asked me why I had the mask on, but I just thought it was funny. Give him a story to go back and tell his family what he saw in the desert. But, uh... That's going to be it for me today. I'm going to head home and uh, put my battery on charge and then give me something to eat and go do some work. And then uh, see you tomorrow, right? So if you like these kind of videos, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. It don't cost you anything. It's free. And like always, 
Thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah.